Folks, how we doing? Yeah! Yeah! Magic Castle Tuesday night, huh? Huh? Yeah. huh? You guys good? I thought it was Wednesday. Me too, me too, me too. Oh man. You guys you guys good? Yeah. 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 Sure yeah. Kind, of, kind of moving. Is it something going on over here already? The, the whole floor is moving. Stay with me. It's, it's gonna be a crazy ride. You guys doing good? Yeah, yeah, not me. I, I had to go to the doctor recently. I was having uh, intense chest pains, difficulty breathing, fatigue. I was convinced I had COVID again. <laughs> good news, it turns out it was just good old-fashioned existential dread. And the relief, you have no idea. Do you guys, you're probably wondering why I brought you all here this evening, Chris. We're going to try some experiments in mind reading, telepathy, clairvoyance. Now, I'm not saying any of this is real. But I'm also not, not saying that it really isn't not what might not possibly be happening. Studies have actually shown that drinking heightens psychic ability. Full disclosure, I'm like super psychic right now. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too psychic, but we'll get through it. Um, tell me your name again. Barduhi. Barduhi. Are you familiar with playing cards? <laughs> to the back. We'll come back to you later. <laughs> Chris, are you familiar with playing cards? Yeah. Can you imagine you're holding a deck of playing cards right now for me? Right. Okay. Can you see 52 different options, 13 suits, 4 colors, 4 suits, 2 colors. Can you see the colors, the red and the blacks in there? Can you see them? Okay, now you're going to pull out either the red cards or the black cards. Which ones do you want to pull out? The red. Take out all your red cards. Take them all out, and then you're going to divide your red cards, hearts and diamonds, one in each hand. Do you have them? Okay. Now you're going to toss one of those two suits. Which ones did you toss? The diamonds. You toss the diamonds away. That leaves you with 13 hearts. Take your hearts and throw them all over the floor. Good. An interesting thing happened when you did that. Half of them landed face up, and the other half landed face down. Now tell me, was it the even ones or the odd ones that landed face up? Odd ones. So I see an ace, a three, a five, a seven, there's a nine. Oh, the jack, where's the, oh, the king of hearts is right there. Which one of those do you want? The nine. You sure? Positive. You want to change? Nope. Nine of hearts. Nine of hearts. Okay. Now, folks, using my highly keen psychic ability, I will attempt to tell you where your nine of hearts is in this deck right here. Sometimes it takes me a while, so please bear with me. Twelfth. Your nine of hearts is twelfth down in this deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You wanted the nine of hearts? There's your nine of hearts, everybody. Nice. Nice. Good memory. <laughs> me next, me next. <laughs> See, I, I think you already beat me to it because you're, you know, if I'm out there watching this, I'm going, well, so what, Dave? You, uh, you memorize the cards. You know where all the cards are. Mm -hmm. I memorize the cards. I know where all the cards are. Normally, that's a pretty difficult thing to do. In this case, not so much. The difficult part came on your side of things. Think about this ridiculous thing I had you do. I had you imagine a deck of cards. You eliminated 51 of those and decided on one, the Knight of Hearts. Any one of those steps, you could have changed your mind, but you wanted the Knight of Hearts. And I just had a question for you. How did you know? I knew before walking in here. He's good, right? Yeah. <clears throat> because the Knight of Hearts is the only one I brought with me tonight. Because the rest of these oh, are blank. <laughs> wow. Wow. Give it up for Chris, everybody. Wow. Wow.